how Burr is going to get around that. And I think that he will have a better time than most because one of the things that Burr is the king of in this game is aerial drift and knowing how to manage himself in the air. That's something that he picked up yes. from his past of being a melee player. And you're going to see a lot of that spacing be excellent from Burr, but it doesn't matter when you're getting comboed. Yes, very much so. And right now, and Cold is wailing the damage on him. And nicely done with that laser shot. All right, um... Just all the stage pressure. Burr has to figure a way around the Falco and to the tilt combo. Nicely done. Finding a way back on, dealing some damage himself. And I, okay, <laughs> this is something Burr's been doing a lot lately. I don't know. Some, he must have gotten like carbon monoxide poisoning or something because like the thing he is constantly just goofing around off stage. I I can see why he did it against Joker uh, when he was facing Blue, but. I don't know why he's doing it to every single person. <laughs> I'm just saying, check his house for a gas leak, man. Like, he's a little goofy in the brain lately. At least while he's right. playing the game. But oh, good right grab. now, not quite in that range to get that boom Oh, that back air will take away Burr's first uh -huh. And that's something that Burr really didn't have the time to react to. He was trying no. to wait and see what Incooled would do when he was dropping down from up top, but he had the crazy fastball speed and the very quick back air to close out that stock. Mm-hmm. Just ankle went straight for the kill. He did not care for waiting out the damage. He just went, no, I just want to kill you right now. Mm. All right, right, rolling back into center stage. That's something that Burr could probably look out for. Ankle has done a lot of rolls oh. to get in that burst movement. Oh, that just missing that bomb. Oh, oh. no, just missing the ledge. That's unfortunate that what Inkool actually had the right angle, but he forgot to stop holding down when he was holding that oh, angle. So he yep. just dropped past the ledge. Yeah, I always hate that. All right, Burr still challenging on that landing. He's almost every time Burr has landed, he's thrown out a hitbox, and Inkold could pick up on that too. But we see with good DI, he's still alive and no, getting that berry. Grinding. Oh, but no, missed on the spacing right there. And Burr is still going to follow up with a second roller. You saw in that first one, he was too far to no, hit that forward that smash, taunt. anyways. Mm. Oh, I oh, 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 hit him with it. No, oh, my oh, my God. Ow. Hands off my naughty zone. He said it. Oh. And he hit him with it. Jesus, clip that, that please. That that's amazing. getting on clip shows all month, dude. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> all right, now it cooled right in that wave of momentum. He's getting plenty of combos on this left platform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's making my voice crack. He's making me cough. These combos oh, are good nuts. Shield and two. All right, just get anything off of it. Oh, that down. He stole wow. his jump with the up B hitbox. That was a late up B hitbox too. What? That was in cool jumping at the wrong time, and oh, he got sniped by that that's, super jump. That's just cheeky. That's right unfortunate. There. He looked yeah, like he was about to get that comeback. I know. Oh man, that that that's stolen from him. That was robbed. That's funny. Oh, and sad at the same time. I, I just, oh, that is an unfortunate way to lose your first game. All right, so now going into game two. See, Unova is the pick right now. And I don't, I don't blame him cool right now because there's a lot of stage where you have platforms uh, covering over the ground. Yep. And I would, I would bet that probably Smashville and Yoshi's Island might have been banned to keep him from continuing to get those juggles. And yep. Unova's maybe that next best option. Yeah, right now. And honestly, the best thing for the stage, wall clean. If your character has wall clean, learn your stuff on this stage. It's to me is the best place for wall clinging. Yeah, no, I mean, there are obviously stages like, you know, Yoshi's Story, if that's legal, where you are, or Kalos, but this is another one of the stages where you do have walls that you can use to mix up those recoveries, and in Cooled, having an excellent wall jump available to him with Falco, like you said, we're going to be seeing him use that a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, and... Right now, Burr is taking the advantage right now. And you saw that up air was exactly what I was talking about, about his aerial drift. He spaced that so perfectly oh. where he faded back and still got the hit, but in cooled is going to be the first one to take a stock. Yes, very nicely done. Just placing his um, forward air right above the roller. Oh, nicely done. That drag down, he, he has been working on that because that's been working nicely tonight. But the up smash just can easily kill him. Burr kind of shaking his head. He knows that he got that kill off of a read. Nothing more, nothing less. 
Yep. But oh my read, gosh, the He was combos. still able to pick up on what Enkold was doing, and he was jumping from the ledge a lot. Hmm. Cool though, this combo game grab. has just been unmatchable. Uh, just dodging the bomb, nicely done, covering that. <gasps> wow, just one or two hits of that Nair is enough to lead into another combo. I mean, Falco's combo game is nutty. Hmm. Cool has mastered it. Oh, see. watch out, and Ogre Tech. Wow, this offstage game is nuts, and they're still both able to get back with their lives intact. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. nicely done, mix up. And get the back air to get the um, kill. Nicely done by Ink Holds. Not only was that mix up so good to get him back on stage, I'm amazed that he was able to get a stock off of it, too. Mm -hmm. That is masterfully done by Ink Holds. Who would have thought that w those two moves would work together? <laughs> Not me, dude. I would have thought uh, they go together like fine wine and cheese, apparently. But if there are any two moves that go together, I would certainly say splat roller and up smash. Yeah. That's a classic combo. You can't go wrong. That's like the burgers and fries of this game. Oh, here we go. Grab and two. Oh, just missing a reflector. Oh, Good tech. Wow. Yep. Smart follow up there by Oh, no, that's it. Wow. <laughs> there was amazing. no way he was going to recover from that. That was a great edge guard sequence right there. And Bert, I mean, honestly, that's not something that he had to learn coming into Smash Ultimate. That's an edge guard that he is familiar with doing even back into Melee. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the big thing about Falco, comparably to Fox and stuff, he has about the same distance with his up B as, like, Wolf. Yeah, so it's he's, pretty poor. He just had to hit him far enough off the stage, and he's dead. Yeah, the big part of his recovery that makes it so good is that double jump and that Falco Phantasm. And if he's too low to use the Phantasm effectively, and if he doesn't have that double jump, that's when it gets dangerous for him. And that was the exact situation Incooled found himself in. Yeah. So that's like 